Here in southeastern Australia resides Wombatus ursinus, the common wombat, one of three wombat species found in Australia. This medium-sized mammal species can be found throughout the rainforests, grasslands, and even the coastline of the southeastern portion of the continent. They are even known to inhabit the neighboring island of Tasmania. These interesting marsupials reach sizes of about 3 feet in length and can weigh more than 50 pounds. Their husky figure is supplied by an herbivorous diet of native grasses along with tree and shrub roots that they dig up with their large front paws and consume using their large continuously growing incisors. These sturdy arms are supported by their dense compact bone structure located in their front legs. These dense bones located in their frontal paws have also made them useful tools for digging the large and complex burrows they sleep in during the day. During the hot, arid summers, temperatures in the day can reach an excess of 90 degrees. Many Australian species have developed their own ways of avoiding the sun's scorching heat. Whether it be by various cooling techniques or avoiding the sun altogether, wombats have decided that digging in during the day and coming out at night works best for them. Their moist burrows help them keep cool and conserve water in ecosystems where water sources can be few and far between, depending on the time of year. Being nocturnal and coming out at night allows them to forage freely without the threat of overheating. As with all marsupial species, the wombat has a pouch that it uses to carry its joey in while it develops after birth. However, because of the prominent role that digging plays in much of its everyday activities, a forward-facing pouch like the ones found in other marsupials will result in the wombat filling its own pouch with the mounds of dirt that it excavates and a very dirty joey. With the joey occupying the pouch for around six to eight months, the mother cannot simply stop digging to accommodate the new passenger. Instead, wombats have evolved to have a backwards-facing pouch this allows them to dig freely without filling their own pouches while still ensuring the safety of their little joeys. Living a relatively solitary life, common wombats do not congregate heavily other than during the mating season. They mark their territory using their cloacal scent glands to ward off other wombats from their burrows and territories. More physical displays involve deep bellowing growls and teeth gnashing as a sign of aggression to ward off encroaching neighbors. Wombats usually give several vocal cues back and forth before engaging in any physical contact, although physical altercations are quite uncommon. Despite the precautions and solitary lifestyle, they have been known to graze and have burrow systems nearby one another, forming small communities. They have even been known to share burrows in times of need, such as to avoid predators or natural disasters, such as forest fires. Other species, mainly small mammals, have also been observed using these burrows during forest fires, and while they are not keen to sharing, they do tolerate guests when it is absolutely necessary. With their numerous dens, it is more than enough space to go around for unexpected disasters. While they prefer to keep their distance, sharing space is quite common and territorial disputes are rare. They are quite tolerant when it comes to new additions to the neighborhood. While these mammals may not look like much, they are quite an extraordinary species. From the complex burrows that they have been known to create to the backwards facing pouches, they are not only unlike any other mammal species, but also unlike any other marsupial species. Truly one of a kind, and a remarkable example of mammalian adaptation and evolution.